So yes, today is all about these weird looking grip socks that you slide your toes into, which look just kind of strange. But this is going to serve two purposes. I am going to show you one of the best, most affordable grip socks on the market. I'm going to tell you where you can get them in Europe. They are a little bit cheaper out in Japan and Asia. So if you are out that way, definitely check them out. You've probably already heard of them and I'm also going to use these as an example to prove why grip socks are not all about the grip and I realize that sounds insane but sometimes the grip is not the most important thing. The fit, the feel, the materials that they're made out of are far more important when it comes to a good sock than the amount of grip that you get on the bottom. I do have to give a big shout out to the Gaijin Boot Blog and also Jay over at boothype.com for introducing me to these Tabio grip socks and also sending me over every pair that I own from Japan before they were actually available over here in Europe. If you do want to check out the Gaijin Boot Blog's take on these Tabio grip socks, there is a blog, a review, a post up on his website right now. Go and check that out. There's also a link down in the top pinned comment. And there will also be down there and up on the screen right now, a discount code for you over here in Europe to use to buy yourself a pair of Tabio grip socks with an additional 10% off. This is exclusive to Boot Wizard subscribers. So please do hit that subscribe button and like this video and as always you can let me know what you think of the tabio grip socks or any other grip socks that you want to see reviewed let's get on with it why do i think they're so good why am i raving about a pair of socks with weird kind of toe sections So the first thing we will look at is the grip. So you can see it's not massive. There's not huge amounts of grip all over the sock. You get these kind of chevron style grips up across the base of your foot, a little bit on each toe. And then you also get the big Tabio logo on the heel. Now this is good grip. This is nice and grippy and it does a good job. It holds on to whatever insole you happen to have in your shoes. It's really, really good. But you'll notice that there's no grip through this midfoot area here. And the grip that they have put on is absolutely not exhaustive. There isn't a ton of grip over and over. Although it is worth pointing out that this grip is pretty durable. So it holds on for quite a long time, even as the socks obviously get more and more use. It of course deteriorates a little bit, but on the whole, it's a pretty durable sock and the grips themselves are pretty durable. So no grips through the middle, but why? Why not? Well, Tabio have focused on fit and this central section here has an elasticated kind of compression band that runs around your foot. And this gives a really nice secure fit feeling. This does a great job of forming around your foot and just compressing ever so slightly. Now this isn't a gr compression grip sock and this isn't overly tight, but it definitely gives you a better fit, which means these socks don't move. There's also a good heel design that does the same thing. So the way that the heel is shaped and the way the sock is designed, it's a really good heel pocket where your foot just sits. It kind of slots in there and stays stuck. There's also a good amount of stretch in these. So the stretch both laterally and horizontally does a really good job of stretching around your foot. Socks, if they're too big or too small, you either can't stretch them out enough or you just can't get enough of it around your foot. You end up with excess material. That never happens with me with these Tabio grip socks. There is no excess material. And another couple of reasons for that is, of course, these are anatomically shaped. They have little toes. They have toe sections, so they have to be anatomically shaped. This does lead to these being a little bit more difficult to get on than a regular pair of grip socks. But in turn, it's actually easier to get your boots on wearing these than it is with lots of other types of grip sock. But there's kind of a technique to it. You get used to it over time. It ends up being a lot faster to get on the more that you do wear the socks. But the first couple of times you get them on, you're kind of going to be playing around and poking bits of toe material in. Um, but I've always been surprised at how well these fit on my feet 
considering that obviously there's such a specific design within each toe and it just does a really good job again because of that elasticity and the overall shape and the anatomical shape is a huge help to the overall fit. Something that I bang on about a lot when I'm reviewing grip socks is getting socks in different sizes, which you can absolutely do with the Tabio grip socks. You find a lot of socks, they're just one size fits all. And most one size fits all socks don't really accommodate the bigger or smaller feet, or you don't get that really nice fit that you're looking for. So it has to be a combination of good materials built well with a good amount of stretch that are done in sizes in order to get the best possible fit from your socks. If you take something like the Pure Grip Socks, the originals, not the pros, there's not really enough elasticity in those to give you a good fit, even though they come in sizes. This nails both, part, both sides of the coin. You get enough elasticity, you get a really close fit around your foot, and they come in different sizes. So you can buy the ones that fit you better, and overall, your fit is just going to be better. They're also a reasonably thin material when compared to some of the socks, and they don't have a super high cotton cotton percentage, which you might think is a bad thing, but when it comes to sweat wicking properties and keeping your foot clean, dry, and nice and comfortable, it is better to have a more synthetic material like a nylon or something like this, and that's what you get here, which just makes them even better. I, I have so little to say about these socks that is negative, if anything at all. I suppose my negative is probably the price in Europe. Out in uh, Asia, they are about half the price that you pay for them here in Europe, and the international shipping from within Europe is very expensive. So you can go into Tabio Sports UK, they have their own dedicated site that you can buy from, get UK shipping. Then for Europe, I believe it's the Tabio Sports France website that you are able to pick them up from. Now, you can get your 10% off again, I'll put the image code up on the screen. I'm just going to keep waving my hands. Um, you get your 10% off, but if you're living in a lot of places like I'm here in Ireland, it can cost me up to 10 euros to get a single pair of socks shipped, which ends up being quite expensive. And then on top of that, the socks themselves are 30 euros, about 28 euros to buy, which is practically double the price that you pay for them over in Asia. Now, some of that is literally because they're being imported. These are made uh, by Tabio in Asia, in their factories. The quality, the standard is exactly the same in the European ones as it is in the ones they make in Asia, and they just bring them over to Europe. So they have import charges, import tariffs, and things like that. Plus the market is a little bit more expensive here. So they're just kind of bumping the price up to match which is obviously a little frustrating when you want to pick something up at a really good budget price, which was one of the big reasons that I really pushed these was because of the price. Now they're competing with those more expensive grip socks. And then when you add on the shipping cost, they actually become like right up in those top tier kind of pricing of grip socks. Now, are they worth it? I would wear these every day of the week over something like a true sock. I think this is a significantly better sock than a true sock. I'm willing to sit here and say that, but you still you still spend a lot of money on a pair of socks, basically. Um, so you need to work out if that's within your price budget over in Europe. If you can pick them up cheap, absolutely go for it. I have no qualms about that at all. And if you want to know where these rank, if we bring up our Boot Wizard sock ranking table, there is no question at all. These are, of course, foot fetish socks. I still regret naming that tier of socks foot fetish, but that's where they go up in the top. These are foot fetish socks. They are fantastic. Um, Honestly, if you can grab a pair, you grab a pair cheap, they're within your budget, definitely check out the Tabio Sports Grip Socks. There is, again, that discount code that you can use. Doesn't support the channel, we don't get anything from it, but it is exclusive to Boot Wizard for you to use. Please get subscribed to the channel for more fantastic stuff like this. And of course, like the video, like for Tabio, like for the new studio, which I will go on about for at least the next month. And of course, let me know what you think down in the comments, as well as any other grip socks you want to see me review. But that's all from me here. I'm James. This is Boot Wizard Boot Reviews. Have a good day.
and I will see you soon.